I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dworkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favours. No one knows. The vigil's always been here. Since the barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. Of course. You're Rendon Howe's little blighter. That's one way of putting it. They talked about you and the army. Fergus Kuzlin said you wouldn't have the stones to show your face again. But you proved him wrong. I respect that. You do? Yeah. Throw caution to the wind, run headlong into danger, and sod the consequences. That's the only way to live. Thanks. I think. Yep. Don't you give a piss what the others think. Ogren's got your back. She was... she was like a mother to me. We must save her. Thank the Maker. Please let us out. Quick, before more of those things come. No. No, Adria. We have to help her. There must be some way. Adria. All the noise and bombs. You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I, well, you hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it firsthand. Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you? You're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Aye, the Orlesian lads would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. 
There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course. You seem rather attached to that cat, Anders. It's more that he's rather attached to me. Isn't that right, the bounce a lot? Isn't that name a little... ridiculous? What do you think I should call him? Frederick? There are worse names, I suppose. What would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Really? Once you drink the blood, it's all downhill, eh? I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping the tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. The only thing I ever missed about the circle was that cat, to be honest. So I do. How are you doing in there, Sir Bouncer Lord? Ha! <laughs> You'll be a fine mouser yet. Can cats be Grey Wardens? Hmm. Why won't you let us in? The Dark Spawn are coming. It's the constable's orders. There's no... My pardon, sir. I was paid a whole sovereign to give this letter to you. I told him I did. There are easier ways of getting a message to the Commander of the Grey. Some visiting knight didn't catch his face. Full helmet, you know. He said he was... Sir Wolf of Ravain. Ah, the Dark Wolf's nothing but a rumour. Mind you, he was acting suspicious. No, sir. Again, my pardon. Well, they don't look infected. And he has children. Look, we let some in, we'll have the rest scratching at our eyes. No exceptions. Make a spit on you, you heartless bastard. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. Thank you. I will make this quick. What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Delilah? Is that really you? Nathaniel! I had feared the worst. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else. What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. I was so glad to get away from Father's evil. This life is so much better. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him, without question. I had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother. Let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back, once all this is done. Meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said Father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? What if I'd never left? I didn't have much choice, but still... 
I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here! I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Yes! To put it... lightly... Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and... But there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. Were you there when my father was killed? Yeah, don't go digging in the dust for things laid to rest. It does no one any good. Whatever people say about him, he was still my father. And I just want to know if... if he suffered. I'm not the person to ask. Very well, Ogren. Evade the question. Oh, it is so good to see you, my friend. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. I'm afraid so. The circle had to be rebuilt for one. And I believe you too have had your hands full, yes? I'd offer to help, but I'm afraid my presence is required elsewhere. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage, but they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. Well, it could turn out to be nothing, but keep your ear to the ground anyway. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra, but perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Inus, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood, the Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason. Something we could use on our side. The hour is late and I must go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. It figures, actually. There used to be another statue here. It was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. He died in the rebellion, helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. Don't bother. Nobody here will want to see it. There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callan had. Now it's all gone. Curse my father and his idiot ambition. He lost everything for us, didn't he? Not too much pressure, right? I wonder what happened to the old statue. Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. Yeah, statues of her pigeons. I don't want to look at it. Ah, oh, can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom.
It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust, but the freedom is in there too. I may not have a choice about fighting the Darkspawn, but this is a step up for me. I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Maleficar, true or not, and executed me. The problem is that mages are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. The Tevinter Imperium has a better way, but we know how that argument flies around here. Uh, all I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. True. I want a harem, a banquet, and the ability to rain fireballs upon every Templar in creation. Never mind me. Now and again I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile, that's all. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. You, you are? I thought perhaps the first Dark Wolf was killed or imprisoned. You must admit that your current position does not leave time for shadow games. You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators, but to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. Corrupt miserly nobles have beggared many a proud commoner. Some commoners turn to distasteful occupations just to survive. Is it not fitting that they would want to strike back in the only way they're able? It will be done. Give me some time. labor the point or anything, but I think this caravan was attacked. Out of my way! I need to get out of here! No! No one can help me! I just need to get out of here! Uh, the elf! She makes the trees come alive! All we wanted was some easy money from the caravans, but we... Make her help me! She's here! Gotta get away! Why are you here? What do you want? Do you work for the Shems? Ah, oh, you're here to battle the Darkspawn then. Fair enough. Should you encounter any merchant caravans, tell them to release my sister or more of their men will die. Now go, deal with your Darkspawn, and stay out of my way. Consider this a warning. Don't these Dalish elves travel in packs? What's with a tiny camp? 
And here, looks like there was a bit of a fight, but no bodies. Just all these weapons. <sighs> Something smells here, Commander. And it isn't me. Don't look. Don't look at me. Olaf, my name. Came with friends to to drive out away the elf, but the dark spawn were too quick. We were ripped apart, biting claws and teeth from the darkness, and then I woke, flesh and bone and gristle under me, around me. Everyone dead. Dead, soft meat melting into the ground. I, I crawled away, came here. Can't stand to see it. Sister? I have a sister. Do I? Elf sister? No, we did not take her. Probably dead or eaten. No. No. Darkspawn came first. They slaughtered us, took our steel, brought it to the elven camp, tricked us, tricked the elf. Now, she thinks we are to blame. Hunts all in her rage while they watch. So all these people died over a misunderstanding? Maker, that's horrible. We have to stop her. Tell her she's wrong. Do you think she's back at her camp? We could try looking for her there. The Dark Ones are curious about you too. They watch you as well as her. Can you feel them? I'm already dead. I'm already gone. Make... Make an end, please. This is a death trap. If I need to step in the bushes to answer nature's call, you're coming with me. Why are you still here? I told you to stay away from me! I warned you! This place is not for you! We have nothing to talk about! Stop hounding me! me alive. Then will you let me go, for the sake of our people and what we share? <laughs> Talk. What? The Darkspawn are mindless. It is not possible. 
They should never have come here in the first place. If they had just left us alone, all this would never have happened. If it wasn't the humans who killed my people and took Sarani, are you saying the Darkspawn did it? Why would the Darkspawn do this? Are you saying Sarani will become one of them? I will not allow that! You? You want to find Sarani? Why? Great. Another twitchy magic sort. Just what we need. My name is Valana, if you care for such things. Do you know where the Dark Spawn might dwell? There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the Dark Spawn there. the Grey Wardens. Do not be frightened. Your injuries have been tended to. I apologize for what I must do. I do not wish to be your enemy. But now is not the time for this. done anything. I'm fine, Velana. It's not me he wants. I have to get you out before something bad happens. I don't want anyone else to be hurt. <sighs> yes. All right. Let me out and I'll take you home. The Darkspawn have your things. You can still get it all back if you're careful and clever. They're going to come back to check on you. You have to hurry. I don't know anything, but take this key. It... It opens a chest in the emissary's room. Maybe you'll find some answers there. They're coming! You have to go! Find a way out of the mines! Please! I can't just leave you! Sarani! Wait! Of course. Of course. And so I shall.
Hey, that's mine! That thing has my things! It's got its sallow, clammy hands all over my doodads, touching my junk! No one touches Argrin's junk and lives! Commander, I would not have expected to meet you here. Did those bastards get you too? I had hoped you would avoid capture. Would be luckier than the rest of us. I was to help rebuild the Ferelden Wardens, just as you were. We were at Vigil's Keep less than a week when the Darkspawn came. I think I'm the only one left. The others are dead, or worse. I'm not sure. The emissary who leads them is more cunning than any Darkspawn I've encountered. He's fascinated with Wardens. But listen, there is a Darkspawn here carrying a huge maul. He crushed my legs. He took my wedding ring. Please, Commander, slay him. Bring the ring to my wife, Nida, in Amaranthine. Tell her I died trying to make this world better. No. I will only slow you down. Please, do this for me. It is all I ask. Shall.
is she with that monster? We must get to her. They're Darkspawn. They'll head underground to the Deep Roads. They always do. The home of the Children of Stone. Yes. They say Wardens can sense Darkspawn even deep beneath the ground. I would join the Grey Wardens. Give me the ability to hunt down these monsters in the deep. I am not afraid of death. I will pledge my service to you in exchange for the powers your order can grant. What say you? Ma Siranas. Shall we go then? I've had enough of this place. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. I don't suppose, you know, in your travels... Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. If you must be so close, Dwarf, I'd prefer that you turn your head. Well, sorry for looking. I can't help that your womanly splendor is at eye level. What? I was referring to your... Oh, you weren't talking about... Uh, what were you talking about? Your breath, Dwarf. The fell cloud that emanates from your gaping maw. <laughs> they didn't call me the Lady Killer of Orzammar for nothing. <laughs> You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the Commander found a Silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> oh, kind of you to notice. I that was my work. The name is Dworkin Glavenock. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> you have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations, but it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, Tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? 
three? No, four? We all know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. I, Commander. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Commander, we need to talk. Is my axe buried in your chest? No. Then you're not in trouble. It's something else. Dreams. You get them. Yeah, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? Yeah, this particular dream put me right off my breakfast. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there, and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her! Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And then one of them kept repeating, Where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. <laughs> Usually they accuse me of the opposite. Thanks for listening, Commander. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrin. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana. You are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. <laughs> 